Get a shovel. Morning of day two, everyone. Just getting some quick breakfast and a coffee into us before we do the 5K hike into Camp Bison Prison Farm. Excited to see what's in store for us. So here's the end of the line. We park the vehicles and we gear up for the hike in. As you can see, on the map, the satellite view shows the train cars in the way, so you cannot drive any further from this location. Now you have to hike in five kilometers to the prison. Being this is a live track, we took extreme caution while crossing. Here we come. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. This is so cool. There used to be a glass wall here. Nice. Check out the uh, steel grating in the wall. That's kind of cool. Broken glass. If I crash through, get it on video. Yes. It's, you're not going to crash through. These are concrete stairs. <laughs> Everything failed. I know, true. Solid steel and concrete. They're not bats, they're swallows. Yeah, there's the nest right there. Yeah. You're gonna get swooped in a minute. There's the nest. <laughs> We're gonna get in trouble by the birds. Invaded their home. This is a very cool place. Extremely cool. Definitely put it on your bucket list. It's a long hike in. Well, not too long, an hour. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's well worth it. Oh, here's the birds. We pissed them all off. Look out. 
<laughs> They're all right out this window. Yeah, well, it's because they want back in. Yeah, they want to go back home. Wow. There's another nest right there. They got nests all in here, eh? Wow, look at the flaky paint on the ceiling. That is so cool. Tim Hortons. Chicken soup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess probably a TV well, would be up there, right? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. This, this is the family room. somewhere. So this is one cell. Get in trouble, kids, because this is where you're going to be. Exploring Burrosh abandoned prison was incredible, but we had to start hiking back because we still had a long drive ahead of us. See the iron content in this water? Okay. Ooh, that Don't step where I step. See no. a big boot press? <laughs> oh, okay, I just got past it. <laughs> oh, the breeze is anybody so home? Yeah, that is a very nice breeze. <laughs> Standing on a beaver dam. Don't forget there's a ditch on this side. <laughs> just watch on this side of the ditch. Tall grass, can't really see where you're going. Right on this uh, balancing act of a uh, lawn. Okay, so I can... This is our bypass. Now back at the vehicles, we have a quick lunch, and then we pack up and head out.
a quick stop to admire the beautiful Seacourt Falls. Uh, from that hike. It's windy. That's coming down nice and fast. What a rafting trip. We came down to section like this with a sort of a dip at yeah. 18 foot raft came into that sideways. Oh man. Started surfing in the middle and then it went whoop and just everybody <laughs> just yard sale everywhere. <laughs> Good day everyone. Day two. And uh, yeah, we've already been for a 11 kilometer hike out to the Burr Wash Prison or Camp Bison, what you want to call it. Um, that was amazing. So amazing. So worth the hike. It was amazing. Then we stopped and had lunch on our way out. Now we're heading up Highway 17 towards Sault Ste. Marie to uh, try and make it to Tri Bank Mine. See where we're, uh, what we're in for. We're not sure. But uh, we're going to find out when we get there. Should be interesting. <laughs> Right now I can see beside me, we're just passing by Sudbury, the famous stack, the Sudbury stack from the nickel mines. Yeah, it's gorgeous around here, just beautiful, love it. Nice drive, beautiful day, stay tuned for more. seeing right now. I know you can see it on video, but video does not do it justice at all. Just gorgeous. As we head north, we realize we're not going to make it to the abandoned Tribeg mine before nightfall. So we decide to pull over and see what other options we have. With the use of iOverlander as a helpful tool, we find a location about an hour north of us, so we decide to go check it out. So we finally arrived at the second camp spot, day two, and uh, we just got set up and cooking dinner. So I got burgers for tonight. My camp set up. Let's see what Dan's cooking. Dan, what do you got on, on the grill tonight? Uh, steaming dim sum. <laughs> What's that? Steaming dim sum. Dim sum. Dim sum. Oh, yeah. Nice. Why not? <laughs> Why not, eh? That's camping. Yeah. That is camping. What do you got on the grill tonight there, Jay? Right now, there's lamb and mushrooms on the grill. Nice. Followed by some, by some rice and beans with some peppers and onions in it. Ooh, ah. Scissor, scissor. And this is our, uh, I'll give you the grand tour of our campsite. It's a crown land piece of heaven. Check it out. We got it right on the river. Dan's got his set up. He sleeps in, inside the truck. It's my setup. And I'm sleeping inside the truck as well. And of course, Jay, well, he's on top. We got a nice fire pit here. Gotta clean that out a little bit. But uh, yeah, gonna do some fishing as soon as we're done dinner. <laughs> We've probably done it the other way. Maybe fish first and had dinner. Uh, whatever. My luck, this is not gonna happen. So beautiful, beautiful. I may 
amazing spot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this one when I'm fresh, and then I'm going to use the big one, and I'll haul in other segments off. We'll see. It will once we've done cutting this, and then we have to split it off. Okay. How is the stop on here? I'm going to go on this end, though. Hey. You say go. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty thick spot. I shouldn't have drank that beer so fast. <laughs> I'm gonna do second. Holy crap! Yeah, well, you you know what's coming next. Well, yeah, absolutely. Maybe let's try. Whatever, let's do. Turbo fire. <laughs> there you go. Who needs gasoline? Nice. 